Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back. Today I've got a fun and interesting team to try out here on the Regulation E ladder. It features, of course, Snorlax. This is not the belly drum variant, but it's an assault vest variant with body slam, heat crash, high horsepower, and heavy slam. And it's paired with, you know, Miracle Seed Rillaboom, a very standard chin pow here with sash, leftovers substitute heatran that variant and then also prankster thunderous so we can get some t waves off some taunts some eerie impulses and that eerie impulse actually works fantastically with enamorous because enamorous has the ability contrary which means that it does the opposite of whatever the normal uh stat change would be from a move so you can hit your own Enamorous with Eerie Impulse to double its special attack immediately. And then you can do big damage with Draining Kiss or Dazzling Gleam, or you could use Superpower to raise your Enamorous's attack and defense instead of lowering it while also doing damage. So I'm super excited to see how this team plays on the ladder. Let's check it out. I like Enamorous Thunderous here. I'm thinking Chin Pao would be really good though. Plus I think having Priority in Rilla could be helpful. Ooh, I'm gonna super power. Okay, but I have to Terra first. So that I resist. Well, Fast and Dippity doesn't only run poison moves, so I could just super power. And I'll get a T wave on Fast and Dippity. Oh, thank you. But yeah, so then I went over to my parents' house for dinner, and you know, my siblings and their families were there, so. Um. My nephew was there, so I got to play with him. Oh my goodness, that kid is so cute. And he's getting so close to standing and then walking. And he's got the most adorable little crawl. He like, when he decides, oh yes, full para. When he decides he's ready to move, he like crawls almost like some kind of wind up toy. Like you've wound him up and you put him down on the floor and he's just like, Ugh! that's how he crawls. <laughs> Probably gonna fake out an amorous, right? So I could like protect and just like, I could eerie impulse pheasantipity so it does less damage. And then yesterday I went down to downtown with a friend to the science museum to like do their eclipse event. And then we looked at the butterflies and the butterfly exhibit. And then we went to Ikea because I had a birthday gift card. <laughs> it was like just a lot. You know, Ikea visits are like three hours long. <sighs> oh, thank you. December child, ooh, that's the worst month to have a birthday. <laughs> You'll be 31 though, ooh, how does that feel? I'm not 30 yet, that's next year. There we go, okay, so now we're plus one attack, plus one defense, plus two special attack. Nice. Oh shit, I forgot about heavy slam! Okay, don't die, Enamorous. From whatever Phasmodipity is gonna do with its minus two special attack, don't die. Yes, another full para. Okay, this game is going well. I'll just go for a Wild Bolt Storm to try to get some damage on Phasmodipity. I don't think I necessarily need another Eerie Impulse right now. You were born early, you weren't due till January. So it kind of sounds like you did choose. I should have done another Eerie Impulse. It, it kind of sounds like you did choose to have a December birthday, Kevin. Para on Iron Hands. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Fuck. I should have done another Eerie Impulse. <laughs> Okay, that's fine though, because who do I have in the back? I'm really gonna just bank on this while Bolt Storm hitting. What? Oh, I'm so slow because I've been hit with so many icy winds. No. Oh, that was a terrible thing that I did just now. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're gonna Sacred Sword. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh, we're 
We're gonna Sacred Sword Iron Hands. Remind you of Pink Panther? Yo, that's actually, it actually does kind of, no! Bruh, I didn't want to risk a goddamn icicle crash miss. I swear to God, if I lose this game after it started so well, I'm gonna be really grumpy. Thunderous! Okay, we got bailed. Okay, we have had like five million full paras on this pheasant dippity though, so like. <sighs> there is that. Okay, it's a ground type, which means I can't hit it with eerie impulse, so. I think I'm gonna save my Terra. We're gonna Icicle Crash or Saluna. And I'll go for another Wild Bolt Storm. Oh, come on! Oh, yes, never mind. Okay, we have gotten bailed out a lot in this game. We've got some, we've got some plot armor here. Like, I do feel a little bad for this Pheasant Dippity though. Like, <laughs> Oh, they already Terra'd. So they can't Terra, I could just Sacred Sword. <laughs> Look, they might be punching their desk right now, okay? <laughs> well, that was really messy, but we did win. I think we bring Snorlax? I don't think we bring Snorlax. I think we bring Rilla. And I guess Snorlax. Does Conkledor get fake out? I don't think so. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Dusclops are actually running Terra Dark a lot of the time so that they can't be prankster taunted to stop Trick Room from going up. But if that happens, then Superpower might KO. Well, actually, but if they don't Terra, the taunt will stop Trick Room. But I might be better off just like clicking Dazzling Gleam and Eerie Impulse. Because if they Terra, that's also... No, they did not Terra. I should have just fucking taunted. You have Ice Punch! Oh my god. Yeah, there's the trick room. Oh, is it Conk Community Day right now in Pogo? It's been a long time since I played Pogo. We're gonna protect Wild Bolt Storm. Oh, I hate that, Lance. I hate when it's like a boss rush right at the end. Okay, burn me? Like, that's fine. What I wanna know, why is this Conk not burned? Is it not like Guts Flame Worm? I also, I think, oh, okay, it's Parrot. Which is actually bad in Trick Room. I mean, it was gonna underspeed me anyway. Um, I guess I'll taunt Dusclop so it can't Pain Split because I'm not going to get the wins I need and this footage will never see the light of day. Okay, so like... What's my deal? What can I do here? I can bring in Rilla and Grassy Glide. I'm gonna go full on Terra Grass Grassy Glide into this Urza Luna right now. I could T wave so that we could maybe get some uh, full paras. That did nothing! Be fully paralyzed, or Saluna. Yeah! Ah! Hey, that was funny. 
This is the last turn of Trick Room 2. So I could just like sacrifice Snorlax to the gods to keep Rilla alive. Um, I don't think so, Kevin. I think your best counter is something that resists normal type moves, like steel type. Does rock resist normal? What resists normal? Dude, two full pairs in a row from Ursaluna? Fuck yes. And because I swapped in Flamethrower, Snor uh, swapped in Snorlax, Flamethrower does like nothing because of Thick Bat. Yeah, so probably like running Rock or Steel. Um, and just like, you gotta shut it down, right? You can't let it do Calm Mind. You can't let it just like run rampant. Sucker Punch could help too, especially if it Terra's. Okay, I think Ursaluna is really heavy. So I think High Horsepower is my best bet for getting some damage on Ursaluna. And I'm... Oh, I could just Eerie Impulse it. Two. Okay, so what if I did this? What if I High, high Horsepowered Heatran? Because it can't Terra, so that'll do big damage. And then I can Eerie Impulse Ursaluna and just make it like useless. Like that! Okay, this is good. I think we're in a really good position because all they have in the back right now is Dusclops. So now Dusclops comes in, I taunt it, it can't set up Trick Room, boom. So now I can just start clicking High Horsepower into Ursaluna. I taunt first on Dusclops. Uh, yes, Blood Moon, Ursaluna does learn Earth Power, but if you force it into using Earth Power against your Rock and Steel types, it's not using Blood Moon, which is super powerful, and it's not using Hyper Voice, which is a spread move, which will, like, you know, kill both your Pokemon. And so then you can, like, do some smart pivoting and, like, switch around and, like, get, sprinkle some Protects in there and really kind of just stall it out. I will get another airy impulse up on Ursaluna just to be safe, and then I will switch to Wild Bolt Storm. Oh yeah, no, you're you're fine, Kevin. You're fine. You're fine. I like I like theorizing. You know, I'm just being the devil's advocate a little bit. <laughs> I do sometimes upload losses if they were like really close or kind of interesting. I'll upload a loss. Oh, I wish I'd real actually. I don't know. Maybe I'll just. Emergency wave. Uh, what was I saying? What was I, oh yeah, you're gonna catch up to me because you're gonna. Are you gonna play Birth by Sleep next after? Um, oh okay. Yes. And we already know that we outspeed. So I can click Dazzling Gleam again. Eerie impulse. So I'm gonna have to step up my, uh, shit. I'm gonna have to step up my, um, I don't know, my speed playing through the, through the games. I think now's the time to bring in Heatran. And then I'll just, uh, Wild Bolt Storm. I'm pretty close to the end of Birth by Sleep though. Like, I'm on the third. Like, you play through the game with like three different characters, basically. I'm on the third one. Oh my fucking god! Is Heat Wave one of those fire type moves that will thaw you if you use it? It better be. I don't think I've seen any viciousness. Oh, we missed on back Scalibur. No, Heat Train is not one of those moves that will unfreeze you. So that's cool. 
Okay, but we did shake off the taunt, which means I'm just gonna keep clicking substitute until he turn unfreezes. That means we can get a T-wave off on Baxcalibur. Heat wave, I mean, not heat trim. Oh, and we're gonna miss the T wave! Oh! I have no luck. And Vax Calibur gets a free sword stance. And heat train is still frozen. It's running Earthquake. The Bax Caliber is running fucking Earthquake. <sighs> Just kill me. That freeze was the worst. That freeze is the reason I'm losing right now. I think we're done for today, y'all. This team broke me. This is the one. This is the one that broke me. I think we're good. Uh, I'm gonna go garden.